All right. Hey, family, my bad. I'm all distracted and stuff. But anyway, this is your girl, Stephanie, a.k.a. Edini Hostu Sapapa. Currently here just doing a general message. We'll see what, you know, happens as the cards come out. Last reading, I thought was going to be a general message, but I felt like it was more tailored to the Divine Masculines, actually. So... All right, divine forces of unconditional love, light, peace, wealth, health, prosperity, and everything good, lovely, and wonderful. What does the collective need to know for their highest good at this time? Please bring clear and accurate messages. Please and thank you. Ashe. We're going to have to pay. Oh, yes, you are. You better get your salvation. These are the days of revelation. Oh, yes, they are. Nick, everybody wants to live, but nobody wants to die to their old way. I'd rather live a lie. Today they laugh and tomorrow they're going to cry. You got to. Maybe we can make it if you only try. Got to love one, each other, one another. You got to turn around and love your brother. Oh yes you are. Don't you see we don't have much further. If we keep on. Destroying each other. Oh, yes, you yeah. Salvation. These are the days of revelation. Oh, yes, they are. I don't know if y'all can hear the music. I think I'm going to uh, put my little mic on me. Let's see how I do. All right, so we have some cards out here. We have the Six of Challenges, which is victory in battle. A long, hard, hard fought uh, battle, but you will have victory. If this has anything to do with the last reading, which there's usually some correlation, masculines, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to go on this journey. You know, it may be against you know what everybody else wants but you got to be true to yourself you got to let the old you know the old you die to awaken the new so that you can go to where you're supposed to go and reach your potential and we have the justice card here you in the upright you will receive justice you will receive blessings here and then we have the nine of spells in reverse you know definitely need to put up healthy boundaries and not play the victim be sure to set up your healthy boundaries salvation so revelation we're clarifying the six of challenges this is the hour What we got here for the six of one? Uh, no, this is the, this is the six of uh, swords actually. So it's not a victory and defeat, but it is moving on to calmer waters. It is moving on to calmer waters, which kind of is the same same energy. All right, so we're gonna take what has fallen out thus far. Bottom of the deck. Look at that, the emperor. So again, that's that divine masculine energy. I feel like we're still in the energy of that divine masculine. All right, and the spirit says, move on to calmer waters. Move on to calmer waters. First card out is the king of wands. 
Protect your peace at all costs. Protect this newfound energy, this newfound sunshine that you have. Protect it at all costs. We have the secret of boons in reverse. You know, there may have been some disloyalty. Um, and then we have the seven of boons. some disloyalty and there's no no need to continue to invest the seven of of pentacles which is what the seven of boons is this what the boons are anyway uh, speaks about investing reaping a harvest you're not going to reap a harvest with you know where you are and what you're doing that's the reason why you need to move on to calmer waters with the six of swords and then we have the high priestess in reverse again you're dealing with a feminine energy that operates on a superficial level and it's time for you to grow higher you know to elevate to ascend you know someone and go deeper you know the High Priestess is that energy that is a ruler, a leader in both realms, in the spiritual realm and also the physical realm, you know. Yet this person is on the surface, you know, um, superficial, we'll just say superficial. So we have the, the seeker of challenges, right? And that represents the energy of courage, bravery. Don't be afraid to, to go into battle. Don't be afraid to fight this battle. You may have a lot of people against you that may want to convince you to not walk away but you got to do what you need to do for you. Follow your heart. You know, go check out that last reading that I posted right before this one. Look at that child of vision. Have that, have the energy of, in the upright, have the energy of a child, the excitement of a child, that new beginning, in, you know, engage your imagination of the new. Look at that child of challenges. You just got a lot of newness, new energy here. You know, you have new inspiration. Look at that. Nine of visions, which is the nine of cups. You will have wish fulfillment. You will have wish fulfillment. Take control with authority with the emperor card uh, at the bottom of the deck. So let's get clarity on the justice. What is what are, what are the divine masculines receiving justice on? What are the masculines receiving justice on. Let's get more clarity on this justice card. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the moonlight in reverse. There was something that was hidden that was revealed. And your justice is knowing the truth, getting the information you need that you may have needed for a very long time to walk away. Yes, we have the eight of challenges in, rever in reverse though. You're no longer stuck. The eight of challenges in the upright means you're stuck, but it's in reverse. You're no longer stuck because you've gotten this truth, I feel. The death card in reverse. You know. It's endings and new beginnings. So there's definitely an ending here. The seeker of spells. Which is the knight of wands. It's the knight of wands. In reverse and the knight of wands 
can represent player energy, an immature energy, a flighty energy, you know? So I feel like there's an ending to this flighty energy. There needs to be an ending to a flighty energy anyway. That is the way that you're gonna be able to receive justice. But you're no longer stuck in a situation in which at one point you didn't want to end. Because you just couldn't really, you know, make up your mind. You were flighty in your decisions. But love has taken over. You know that there, there's more. There has to be a deeper love. There has to be more, you know, um, fulfillment in, in a relationship. And I feel like you're now thirsting to find your, your divine partner, your twin flame. And let the child of spells. Here we go with, got a lot of new beginnings. This is the uh, page of swords. So you definitely have new ideas, a new way of thinking. Uh, here in the eight of wounds and you're ready to go to work you're ready to put in the work you know the eight of pentacles which is the eight the wounds in this deck anyway is about perfecting your skills going in perfecting your skills and we have the nine of challenges which is the nine of wounds. swords the nine of swords um, and this is work that has you anxious maybe you don't feel like you'll be able to accomplish it but remember we're clarifying the justice card you have the ability maybe the things that you need to work on is not being in this flighty cheating energy yourself you know maybe that's what you need to work on and you fear whether you can be faithful but once you find your divine partner, your true soulmate, I feel like that's going to come natural. It's going to come naturally. So, um, now we have the nine. We're, clear, we're about to clarify the nine of wands here, which is that energy of. The song playing now is uh, I'd Rather Cry. And I saw you and him walking. So this is the guy, this song playing now is the guy who originally wrote that song. Eddie James, you know, remade it, but he was the original. So basically this song is about him seeing his uh, girl, his woman with another man. What you can't see, you can't feel. So maybe that's what uh, masculines, maybe you're feeling what kept you from walking away is that you didn't want to see that karmic perhaps with someone else. But you got to face the truth. Is this going to take you where you need to go? You know, is this love going to be expansive enough to receive all of the blessings? that are waiting for you. Is it meant, is this part of your destiny? Is this where you're supposed to be for the rest of your life? Will you be happy here for the rest of your life? Or are you ready to begin living? You know, or perhaps this is Could be, you know, you're walking away from an old situation and you have someone in mind 
that you're ready to go after because you don't want to see that person with another man you'd rather be blind than to see her with someone else this is the new person the all of this new energy bottom of the deck is the four of cups which is that depression energy so nine of wands clarifying the nine of wands you know healthy boundaries we have the seven of cups so it's confusion have some com confusion is a you know dreams illusions goals and then we have the child of boons we have all of the page energy so a lot of like I said newness here this is new fresh energy and you're you're you know maybe kind of nervous because you've been in a comfort zone for many many years so I feel like it's a lot of newness here five of Pentacles you feel lost you know and walking away you feel like you're gonna be left out in the cold because you're in this energy of singleness we have the weaver of visions in the reverse so i feel like that's the queen of cups in reverse there may be you know like i said either regret or just fear of leaving that past karmic energy or a fear of returning to a queen of cups energy that gentle loving energy um that you may have cheated on that you may have been put in a third party with this karmic you know and so you may be afraid of how she will receive you but um spirits that's come out of a lack mentality with the four of pentacles four of boons in reverse come out of a lack this lack mentality and really get into your king of swords energy meditation get into your uh, meditative state calm yourself you know get to a place of clarity and we have the moon in reverse here because there, there you will receive messages that are going to reveal to you the things that are hidden you know go into your heart you know have a conversation with your heart have a conversation with your soul the seeker of visions which is the knight of cups knight of cups in reverse And then we have the Six of Cups in reverse. All right, can we, let's get clarity specifically on this last row of cards here. Because I'm feeling a closed off energy in regards to this queen of cups in reverse maybe someone that you're wanting to go towards we have traitor not traitor t-a-r-i t-r-i-a-t-o-r not but traitor it says exchange energy to create abundance you know <sighs> you 
you got to realize that I feel like here you abandoned this gentle loving queen of cups you abandoned her and so she may be closed off to you and this is having you to think you know to really Take into account how you treated her, treated women. In this, you know, exchange of energy, maybe you're just getting back what you get, have given in the past. Maybe this is just karma coming up on, upon you. We have a heart guardian. It says love and let yourself be loved. Spirit wants you to, no matter what happens, be grounded in your decision. Learn to love yourself. Um, don't be so codependent upon others. And to not be bitter. Just because you walked away from something in the past doesn't mean you have to be harsh towards it. Don't allow this to taint you. No matter what the other person may do, continue to send love. Even to this queen of cups that may be closed off to you right now. Send her love. Send, still send loving energy towards her. You know. Because again, I feel like you are awakening to the hurt <laughs> and turmoil that you may have put her through at one point. But Spirit says, be a warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. You got you to gotta sit in it. You got to sit in it. You got to feel it so that you can understand. So that you can understand what she went through and love her right or love the next woman right when she comes along, when the time comes. Exactly. Look at that. Water guardian. Connect with your emotions. It's time for you to connect with your emotions. You were cold at one point, but this is wisdom. We have wise one. Grow within your current situation. Grow within the situation. Bottom of the deck, the moon, it says take note of intuitive messages. Really go within and listen. Get the messages. Really connect with your emotions. And once you do, I feel like the energy will give you the words to say to her if you know the opportunity ever opens up again for you to you know communicate with her to talk with her so bottom of the uh, deck is choice we all have free will. So what are you going to choose? Are you going to do the work? Or are you going to take the easy way out? Are you going to do the hard work? Or are you going to take the easy way out? Alright, let's see what car is coming out here. We have vision. You know, I feel like you have a vision of an equal exchange. You know, an equal exchange of energy that creates abundance. You know, and I don't feel like the past situation brought you that. You know, and so now you're open to receive that as you walk away, of course. Once you end the past situation, 
you know so either you can like I said choose to um, settle or you can be brave and fearless and go after what you really want and we have a fair here so it's definitely possibly wasn't a fair a third party situation <laughs> and maybe the third party is what you want to go to what you want what you feel will bring you that equal ex you know ex exchange of energy that will create abundance look at that appreciation a loving, gentle, loving heart that would appreciate you. And then we have control. But where you went wrong is where you were trying to control the situation. You were trying to control her. And we have impulsiveness. There's definitely a huge choice here. And I feel like that your main choice is whether you're going to um, be in a womanizer energy as you maybe walk away from an old energy. But know that karma will be generous with you and not in a good way. So what decision are you going to make? Because we have impulsiveness, generosity, then revenge, and decision. A warrior isn't impulsive. He thinks. He plans. You know? We had choice and decision. And so the decision card here is coming out over um, water garden, guardian. Connect with your emotions. Are you going to connect with your emotions or not? Nah? You know. Are you going to try to, are you going to be stuck in the energy of revenge or not? Nah? Are you going to forgive and move forward? If need be. Bottom of the deck, empathy. Like I said, spirit wants you to feel what you've put that, that queen of cups energy in. It wants you to feel that. I can try to. Peace. Spirit say I can be all the things. I can liberate you. I can set you free. But I can also be that other, that the other end of the spectrum. If you make me. And then we have isolation. So maybe, and then we have extremism. Don't go so deep into isolation, you know. If you force me to, if you force me to. Like I said, don't go too deep into the isolation. Um, with the extreme, 
extremism card after it. Be wise. I feel like this has more to do with um, being single and going wild. You know, you're in isolation, you're alone, um, and maybe you be you're you maybe in the energy of overdoing it, literally. <laughs> you know, we have flirtation, charity, riches. We have detachment. You get too deep into that, you know. It's, you're gonna become numb to it. You know, you need to detach from that impulsiveness to just be a wild man because you're free. Because you're not gonna not hurting anyone but yourself at the end of the day. We're moving into a divine masculine energy. And so this decision to be to go from egotism to devotion may be a weird one for you. But it's gonna bring organization. It's gonna bring also the right people you need to help you move forward and to adapt to this new energy this new life all right so let's get an oracle card And I feel like it's going to help you to have empathy towards those who are walking that spiritual path that are, you know, walking in integrity, not using people, not being uh, controlled by lower vib vibrational um, acts. I just want a few more cards, Spirit. All right, bottom of the deck is lust. So again, don't don't fall victim to lust. Maybe because you know your status has changed. I just saw the status card because it's just going to lead you into restlessness. Like I said, it's not going to be manipulation because your status and. Because of your status, you know, just recently single, maybe you've, or, you know, a high value, you know, a star. I wouldn't say just because you're a star and got money don't mean you're high value. Okay? Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Because remember, karma is a bitch, and she always comes to pay you back okay when you put in overtime that overpay is up can be lovely if you put in the right kind of work you will be overpaid good in a good way or overpaid in a bad way which which do you want decisions and choices And maybe that's the reason why this, that Queen of Cups is like, nah, I already know you're still in this lustful energy. The Queen of Cups is a very intuitive energy. She's very intuitive, you know. All right, so the card that we have here is 28, which is t uh, reduces to 10, which reduces to 1. Endings, new beginnings. And it's a Kiente, Kiente. 28 it says sweet paradox of empowering grace it says when the mind says no 
but the heart leaps with joy, we are ripe for a transmission of empowering grace. The sweet paradox is that the more impossible the situation appears to be, the more we are supported through grace and our divine success manifests swift and complete. All right? So it may seem impossible for you to not be the player, not, you know, be lustful towards women in this freedom that you have now that you've walked away from a karmic situation, which we did with a say affair. You may have been cheating in the past relationship, you know, one, because you there wasn't an equal uh, exchange of energy uh, and uh, an exchange of energy that created abundance, you know, but at the end of the day, you chose that and you continue to choose that for however long you stayed there. It's nobody's fault but yours at the end of the day. That you didn't look at the red flag and do what you needed to do to walk away. That gave you no excuse to go step out and to cheat. You know, integrity is the key. Integrity is key. And you can be blessed beyond what you already have. You may be blessed now, but there's a infinite abundance out here. There's so much more that you can receive. You know, if you are blessed in, in darkness, and, and I mean, like I said, you can have a lot of money, but not be happy within. You're not going to find that happiness within being lustful and, you know, braggadocious and, oh, I, I get all the women. It's, it's going to leave you detached. It's going to leave you empty at the end of the day. But anyway, it may seem impossible to go the straight and narrow, to walk in integrity, to just do right, you know, and just be completely honest and upfront. You know what I'm saying? If you talk to a woman and just keep it real with her, I'm not looking for a relationship. Maybe she'll be open to, you know, being polyamorous or, you know, I, I don't know. Whatever you go, like I said, go within. Go within. Speak to your heart. Have a meeting with your soul. I feel like a true monogamous in, uh, relationship may be what you need, but everybody's different, you know? So, again, just doing things in the right way at the end of the day, not being deceptive not creating illusions, selling dreams to women, just keeping it a book, you know? But if you come across a queen of, uh, a real queen of cups, a real queen, a real empress, she's not, she, she not, she probably not gonna be down with you trying to, sh try, sharing you, okay? So if you need to work on learning how to be monogamous, learning how to, you know, channel that sexual energy elsewhere then you need to work on that and I feel like that's what spirit is saying but at the end of the day you you make the final you're the the final decision you make the final decision trust your heart and what spirit is telling you It says, let the faith of the heart overcome doubt. Allow your mind to be filled with wonder at the unlimited power of the divine, and you shall bear witness to sacred manifestation. In a reading, when there is something within your heart that you know you are on this planet to accomplish, you shall be given equal grace. You will be given that equal partner. You will be given equal grace, power, power talent, talent, and ability to succeed in that mission. This is, the, this is the divine promise and sacred plan for you. If a miracle is required for success, then one shall be given. Pray with courage and confidence for your rightful divine inheritance and allow your bold heart and loving soul 
to believe in your beautiful, hope-filled destiny. Spiritual guidance. Kianti, the sky jewel of the Andes, brings you hummingbird who bears the soul medicine of spiritual grace. The evolution to conquer any obstacle and with extraordinary power of the heart. The concept of spiritual grace can be challenging to the mind. We often don't realize just how much we have been conditioned to subconsciously demand that progress in our lives be difficult. Even while it's at a conscious level, we bemoan the struggle and wish that things could be easier. We want help, but we believe that we are unworthy or have to earn our success completely off the back of our own efforts. While it's the divine wants to engage and participate in the fulfillment of our destiny, if we do not surrender our arrogance and learn how to surrender spiritually, we will never fulfill our potential. That's why I feel like it's very important for you to get control again of those lower chakras get control over the lustful uh urges that you have you know and really be a master to master yourself to master your mind to master your ego your emotions your loins master that don't let it lead you don't let your ego lead you lead it from a place of integrity Uh, there is a way to allow for spiritual grace so that any obstacle can be surmounted. Even the invisible ones that seem to block your progress from some unknown, unknown source. It is not a question of needing to become more powerful, but rather of your relationship to the divine needing to become more vitalized. Your relationship to the divine needs to become more vitalized. So you can be master <laughs> yourself. It says, then grace, then grace, oh grace. Then grace can flow, creating success, creating abundance. In the same situations that would have otherwise defeated you. When hummingbird brings you medicine. You have a high spiritual destiny. You have a high spiritual destiny. That's the reason you're receiving this card in this reading. Spirit expects more from you. It knows that you have the ability. You just, it knows that it, you know, they will help you through this. You just have to face that fear. Track down that fear and face it. Track down that desire, whether that desire and the desire may be to have that loving, equal exchange of energy with your mate, whether male or female, you know, you may maybe same sex <laughs> or you, you know, either way. It says want, you have a high spiritual destiny. One that is going to triumph against apparently insurmountable odds stacked against you. Hummingbirds have the highest metabolic rate of any animal on earth. With their hearts capable of beating at over a thousand beats per minute. You're capable of more love than you believe or think. These remarkable little creatures have an exceptionally high need for oxygen, yet some of the species have, have evolved to thrive in low oxygen, high altitude environments of the Andes, of the Andes mountains, flying at over 15,000 feet above sea le level in truly rarefied air. I feel like that's where his spirit is calling you. To be like the those evolved hummingbirds that can survive off less, maybe less sex for you masculines, okay? <laughs> so that you can 
successfully be in a monogamous relationship. But it's going to be more hot. It's going to be a higher altitude. You know, and hey, you may find that partner that's down as you know. And then the thing is, the sex may even be so good that you can go. You know, a period of time without it. The love will be so intense that sometimes sex isn't even needed. You get a high off of just being with her or him if you're the same sex. Flying above. You're evolving. You're ascending. This is an ascension. This is an initiation happening. It says this has become possible. Excuse me. Because of a seemingly tiny genetic mutation. And how oxygen is metabolized in the blood. This subtle inner evolution. Opened up the power of some hummingbirds to thrive. Crowd quite literally in higher worlds you'll be able to thrive in this situation like never before it says hummingbird medicine empowers the soul for success in situations that would seem the most unlikely get out of your ego forget what your homeboys may say fuck all that it's time to not being such in that childish mentality. Remember we had all the pages. All that child energy. <laughs> you know. That's immature energy. A real man will find his mate. And be truthful. Be faithful. And will love her. And you know. That, that energy will be reciprocated. By the right one. It says this medicine brings a subtle adjustment within the blood or the feminine life force and how it receives and process and processes the enlivening presence of spirit. You know, it says the blood. The blood is a feminine energy, it's feminine life force. It flows through you. Maybe you need to tap into your feminine energy we all have divine masculine and feminine energy within us i have divine masculine um energy within me i could you know shift into a masculine energy if need be masculine energy just, just represents you know action or um and feminine energy represents the softness the meditation energy so again we both have divine masculine and feminine energy. Spirit is asking you to go with the keeper of challenging challenges energy to go into meditation. The keeper of challenges is the king of swords. It's a masculine energy, but it is also requiring. But the, you know, the keeper, the kings are masters of the suit. Right. So masters of the suit will be mas masterful in both energies. The feminine and the masculine he can tap into either one whenever the time is needed right same for the queens they're masters as well and you know masters of the energy within but queens just be like i said i can do a reading for myself and pull a king card in and it still you know refers to me because it may just be referring to the mastery, my mastery. Anyway, I think I'm explaining too much. And it may be confusing you. But let's continue here. I'm going to read that sentence again. This medicine brings a subtle adjustment within the blood or feminine life force. And how it receives and processes the enlivening presence of spirit. This new spirituality. This new uh, deeper relationship with spirit. I'm sorry. Keep ad-libbing it says this in turn leads to extraordinary and heightened abilities she's gonna take you to the next level baby okay or are you just tapping into the feminine energy within you more anyway 
It says trust in the incredible possibilities that are birthed through the union of the sacred masculine and sacred feminine energies within you. When you balance those energies within you, then you're, you will attract that divine feminine, feminine match exchange of energy without. But you got to balance it within first. And remember, you have, there, there may be a queen of cups that you're wanting to come towards, but she is closed off to you because you haven't done the work to balance out yourself within. And she's and she intuitively knows this because come on with your cards to speak about lust, choice, decisions, you know, being a, a, a man whore, being a man slut. OK, <laughs> it's here. So we. What you going to do? What decision are you going to make? What choice are you going to make? no right or wrong it's just part of your journey and your destiny maybe you'll get there maybe you won't but spirits say they we, they got your back they'll help you along the way your choice it says for the healing process it says rest quietly and be aware of your heart as you place your hand there lightly. Say aloud, I'll call upon the sacred testimony of all perfected ones who have laid down their blood for the very purpose for which I have been born. I bear witness to their sacred testimony of love in the spiritual realms as they call out for the cleansing of my bloodline. No impediment can stand against my divine fulfillment. Allow your heart to feel relaxed and peaceful. Without it having to make logical sense, allow yourself to speak from the heart now by saying, I ask for divine forgiveness for my own transgressions and for the transgressions within my ancestral line from the beginning of time. I open my heart with genuine remorse for all violations against love that I and my ancestors have ever made. Relax as you continue with your heart. Relax as you connect with your heart. And then continue by saying, pure sacrificial blood of the sacred heart has always been shed for us, has already been shed for our souls the spiritual blood of unconditional love beating in the living sacred heart washes through my own heart and bloodline now back to the beginning of time this will invoke an energetic release from your blood which you may feel if you are in tune are attuned to subtle energies rest and allow this to happen without attachment or analysis even if you don't consciously sense something taking place it will be happening when you're ready to complete the process when you're ready complete the process with the following statement through the intercession of divine of the divine blood testimony from the purest sacred heart all impediments have been answered grace flows and divine love manifests so be it finish with your hands in prayer if there is an emotional release that follows this process in your dreams or in your daily life take a moment to place one hand on your heart Reconnecting with the feeling of love and peace within. Know that this is a continuation of the healing release and that it will subside, leaving more space for grace and fulfillment to flow through you. You have completed your healing process. 
All right, Divine Masculines. <laughs> this and the last reading was yours, obviously. Never has happened before in my in my career. <laughs> In my journey as a tarot reader, as a reader. So, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I am here for it. But anyway, that is what I have for you. I hope that helped in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I love you all. And until next time, peace.